show you this. Uh, I want to run through these stats one more time for you. The tornadoes last night. If you miss this uh, near the top of the newscast, Carrollton had an EF zero winds of 85. Decatur had an EF zero winds of 85. Possum Kingdom had an EF one winds of 95. South of Bowie, uh, there were three tornadoes in Bowie. Uh, south of Bowie, an EF one 95. East of Bowie, an EF one 100. I'm doing these kind of from the the lowest wind speeds up to the highest. River Oaks, Northwest Fort Worth, an EF one winds of 100. Era, that's Cook County, and EF1 winds of 105. That's the other, the third Montague County storm. That's Nocona, and EF1 winds of 110. Grayson County had an EF2 winds of 130, and of course, Jacksboro and EF3 winds of 150. So the bad news is the, the, the 10 tornadoes that have now been confirmed in North Texas, and the surveys aren't finished yet. There could be another one or two before it's all finished, and we'll certainly have more stats how long they were on the ground, how wide they were, how long of a path they traveled. Traveled. The rainfall, though, was, I mean, just fantastic news. Look at the rain in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Almost an inch and a half in Dallas. Fort Worth about three quarters of an inch. Sanger picked up four tenths. De I'll have these on my Twitter and Facebook page. You could check it out. Plano 1.09. Frisco over an inch. Salina an inch and a quarter. Anna over two. Wiley 1.6. Greenville had uh, just under an inch. Terrell had three quarters of an inch. Mesquite an inch and a half. Rockwall an inch and a quarter. So some great rainfall totals. And then you look at all of North Texas. Look at East Texas. I mean, two to three inches of rain. Great news for East Texas. Bad drought conditions there. Horrible drought conditions here across the Metroplex. So good news there. We needed a lot more rain out here. Now watch this. I want to show you the fires right now. These are all of the fires right now across western sections of North Texas. I mean, there's just multiple fires right now. Let me go back to that rainfall map. You see how minuscule the rain is here? I mean, some of these areas didn't pick up any rain, so that's the lack of rain. Look at the, the fires. Now, let me zoom into the two big ones. The Eastland Complex, we do have good news here to share. There wasn't a whole lot of rain. Some spots out there, we've heard some of the fire uh, folks tell us that some of the areas didn't pick up any rain at all, but at least Eastland now is 60% contained, just under 55,000 acres burned. The Big L Fire is 100% contained. That's 11,000 acres burned, so the certain Certainly, if you didn't pick up any rain where these fire areas are, at least the moisture increased and kind of uh, allowed the firefighters to make a little headway out there, and that was certainly good. But you can see, look, Gorman didn't pick up any rain. Eastland had less than a quarter. Strawn didn't have much at all, but that's the Eastland fire. Here's the Big L fire. Lipan, Stephenville, Granbury, Glen, the Glen Rose had a good soaker, but just not a whole lot of rain right there where the Big L fire is. But at least now it is 100% contained. So. My forecast for tonight, the clouds that we have out there right now, they will decrease tonight. The, the winds will stay up, not horribly so, but northwest 15 to 25 at times up to 30. But a chilly night tonight, the low tonight's 41, but the wind chills tonight are going to be in the upper 20s to 30s tonight. Then during the day tomorrow, a sunny day, a dry day, a windy, a chilly day. We were 14 degrees cooler than normal today. We'll be better than that tomorrow. Tomorrow's high is 63. We warm up on Thursday to 67. Friday we hit 78. Saturday uh, 80. 85 Sunday. 87 on Monday. So those six days, I mean, the weather is extremely uneventful. The winds pick up and they'll create uh, uh, an enhanced fire risk again uh, that will only go up over the next couple of days. And then we have some thunderstorms Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. Some of those could be severe. Uh, the parameters, it's March. Severe storms. Anytime you have a thunderstorm in the spring in Texas, it could turn severe. We'll watch that severe weather threat and keep you updated. Make sure you stay with us. News 8 at 6 continues right after this.